everyone, Jellica here from aprettyfix.com and welcome back to my channel. Well, today is a special tour day. I'm going to be showing you my home all decked out for the holidays. I'm gonna be sharing with you the whole home. So living room, dining room, kitchen, which you haven't seen yet. Um, our bathrooms, entryway, front porch. And, uh, and today is also a special video tour in collaboration with three other YouTubers that you're gonna to want to check out. Um, Magda Yastrebska, she has a really modern, neutral home, really, really beautiful. She does a lot of great DIYs, and uh, I just can't wait to see her home all decked out for the holidays. Um, you're also gonna to wanna to check out Raleigh Nicole, who actually came up in my YouTube feed uh, around fall time and she had this gorgeous fall home tour so I can't wait to see what she's got prepared for us for the holidays and then finally Crystal Hansen I've done another collaboration with her she has this beautiful modern farmhouse feel her Instagram feed is really really beautiful chock full of bright whites and reds so I, I'm kind of excited to see hers as well so once you've checked out my video tour you are definitely going to want to check out all of theirs all right guys without further ado let's get into the tour so this is our front porch i created a kind of natural rustic look you may remember um, this foraged wreath that i created i have a full tutorial on that and i will leave a link in the description box below but it was a lot of fun collecting my materials and really adding to a very natural rustic look this year in our entryway, I really wanted to create a high impact wall and I did so with this gallery wall look. And then I just decorated around it with some items that I mainly had on hand at home and also some things that I picked up at HomeSense Canada. And I think it just really added to the natural neutral look that I was looking for this year. This is a felt tree wall hanging that I created this year. It's actually the first appearance of some modern dollar store crafts that I created for the season. And I'll leave a link in the description box for that as well. And I really love just how naturally and seamlessly it blends in with all of the other natural elements in our front door, including this felt elf hat, which is also part of the dollar store challenge. So you will definitely want to check that out. For those of you who watched my Christmas decorate with me uh, for my front entryway, this garland was missing from that video and I decided to add it at the last moment because I think it just creates a more dramatic, um, welcoming entry into our great room. This year I decorated our Christmas tree with lots of sort of natural neutral tones. I added this wood bead garland, uh, which you wouldn't have seen in the previous Decorate With Me video, but also some handmade items like these paper honeycomb ornaments, this upcycled reindeer ornament, and um, I just think it really pulls the decorations together really nicely. Here I added another rustic touch. We have no fireplace, but I thought, hey, why not add some logs? And these gift boxes are actually from the dollar store, if you can believe it. I just swapped out the ribbons, and I think they just look really pretty under the tree. Now around our TV, I just added some simple candlesticks in these brass candlestick holders that are thrifted finds actually. And I just love how they look. And then I added this swag above the TV. It's on its side and it's rather unexpected and I really like how it frames the TV. One area that I really love to decorate, though it's always a challenge, is our coffee table because it's got lots of space. But this year I used um, that space to just add a lot of neutral and natural textures and accents and uh, really, really love the way it turned out. Of course, pillows are another great way that um, you know I, I decorated in our living room, focusing on coziness, textures, um, just a lot of warmth and warm elements to create a very layered look. Above our couch, I have this wreath that I added some ribbon to, 
and uh, and then over on our other couch I've got more seasonally appropriate accents and also the a touch of the outdoors because we have an open concept space, I like to repeat patterns. So you'll see the uh, faux rugs over two of our chairs and also a lot of green and natural elements. Now, for those of you who watched my Come Decorate With Me video where I decorated our dining room, you'll see that I've actually completely changed the look. I went from dark, moody, and black to light and bright and white. And I felt that it really worked much better in our great room as a whole because it really pulled all of the whites and lights in the surrounding area and then i just used black and green with a very light hand throughout um, i loved adding these greens just on top of our framed prints and i just think it just added a light but natural touch to our dining room space On the other end of our great room are these pairs of chairs, which I really love. And again, I just added some layers with black accents, including this dollar store candle holder, which I really loved and thought it was more appropriate in this side of the room. And then I just added some greens, very natural look to this vase and called it a day. Now in behind our chairs is this gallery wall that you've probably all seen before for those of you who have visited the channel. And uh, I didn't change too much of my decor since my uh, Decorate With Me video. I kept this console very lightly and minimally decorated so each piece would stand out. The only thing I did add were uh, these greens on two of the prints. I really loved the way they looked in our dining room and thought it would just add another element that kind of pulled the room together and um, added a bit more of that natural green look that I so love. I even added some greens to this uh, macrame wall hanging that I made. And if you are interested in learning how to make these knots, I will leave a link in the description box to some coasters that I made using the exact same knot. Now here in our kitchen, I just created some um, natural and neutral vignettes. Um, again, I love the greens and I love the brights and the whites and candles, of course. And I repeated the pattern in and around our stove with these ceramic village homes that light up and a candle. Really love that kind of simple, minimal look. And some bottle brush trees that have a, a very natural rustic element to them as well. And these wreaths I simply DIY'd. I hung them using ribbon, added some tape to the back of each cupboard door, and each wreath is made with an embroidery hoop and some flexible picks that I attached using craft wire and they were all ready to be hung up. And even though I don't have a fancy coffee station, I always add a bit of greens just to add a seasonal touch and uh, it makes for a great view into our living room space. Now our ensuite is simply decorated with this DIY wreath. Again, another I love DIY wreaths, obviously, and I'll leave a link in the description box to this one. It was so, so easy to make, but I think it just adds a really lovely touch to our bathroom. And, uh, and then we just added some bottle brush trees um, over in the corner and called it a day. Now we are not going to be entertaining guests this year, so I haven't quite finished our guest bathroom, but this vintage print that I picked up at an antique shop was kind of the jumping off point and I'm almost, almost done. So I thought I'd just share with you what I've got. I decided that a vintage vibe would make a lot of sense. And so I've got these burlap wrapped trees and again, some very, very natural elements. Um, that I think are very complementary to the vintage prints that I picked up. Mm -hmm. 
Directly across from the vanity is another DIY wreath. Again, using the same flexible picks and this um, black and white ribbon. Well, we really hope that you enjoyed today's Christmas home tour. You're also gonna to wanna to check out the other three YouTubers and uh, I can't wait to see how they've decorated their homes. But in the meantime, I really hope that you have a great Christmas and a happy new year, and I will see you all in the next video. Mm -hmm.